Uh, Dr. Jasek, over to you for five minutes, please. Thank you so much, Chair, and thank you for the warm welcome to this committee. I certainly look forward to participating, and thank you to the witnesses for being here. Um, Ms. McQuaig Johnson, uh, you've uh, referred to, uh, obviously, our government's policy in terms of what we've done to date, and you've said uh, you would uh, perhaps like things to speed along a little bit further. Um, one of the uh, um, uh, um, things that our government has said is to our funding agencies, those that we um, fund, who then go on to fund research themselves. Uh, and we've talked a lot about lists. Um, has our government ensured that we've gone to all those funding, uh, those agencies who fund research themselves? I'm thinking particularly as you listed off some of the areas, Genomics Canada, um, have we ensured that all those agencies are also aware of our concerns? Well, in fact, when uh, the government indicated it was going to broaden uh, beyond NSERC and go to CIHR and SHRC, um, I, I noticed that Genome Canada was missing. And I was very concerned about a year ago when uh, Radio Canada um, did a, a major investigation of the Chinese company BGI and the genomic research that it, that it was working on with Canadian institutions and teaching hospitals and universities and, um, and giving them free um, equipment uh, and then on the, on the condition that they receive all the data from that equipment. That's really concerning and, and alarming. And, uh, and for that reason, I think Genome Canada should be part of it. Would you have a list that you could suggest uh, of all these other potential agencies um, that um, you could provide I think to those us? Those are the four. Okay. Yeah, I think those are the four. Um, and when when that became public that the, it was being expanded to the three, I was interviewed and I suggested that Genome Canada also be added, but I don't know if that's going to be done. Okay, well, thank you for that practical suggestion. Now, reading some of the background material we were given, I noticed that some university researchers are rather resistant to some of the suggestions that are being made. And in particular, and I'm quoting from a Globe and Mail article, but <coughs> U of T's Mr. Wong defended the university's long collaboration with NUDT, one of the uh, Chinese organizations, saying the papers were published in widely available, reputable, peer-reviewed academic journals. So so the implication is that this is publicly available information, so what's, so everybody has access, not particularly the Chinese researchers. Do you have some comments on that? I do indeed. I do indeed. Um, that's what they, that's the way the researchers see it, and they say, my friends of 25 years in China would never do anything askance. Um, but when military researchers are part of the research process, they can redirect the research to their priorities in the PLA. And that's whether it's through um, NUDT or, or a civilian university that is partnering with the Chinese military. We hear often uh, the expression dual use. And dual use gives you the impression of uh, equipment that's sitting on a shelf somewhere and you could use it for a, a piece of defense equipment, or you could use it in some kind of de civilian thing for a plane or something. Uh, but anybody who talks to you about dual use in the context of China's military and civilian fusion program doesn't know what they're talking about, in my opinion, because that's way too simplistic an approach. It's far more nuanced. And having the Chinese researchers, um, even those partnering with civilian researchers, who in turn are partnering with Canadians, as part of that research process, will redirect Canadian innovation into weaponry for the PLA. We'll never know how it tracked. And the reason is that uh, you know, there's no transparency in the Chinese research system. Do I have any more time? Um, and also, you reference private companies that engage university researchers. And I'm sure in many cases of that type of research, they're not, in fact, published. Those uh, findings may not be published. No, and the IP sometimes, not always, but sometimes rests with the Chinese company. 
And uh, yeah, so that's, a, that's yet another dimension. There are many, many dimensions of this problem, and it's why it's taken a while for the government to get its head around it. Great. Thank you.